Okay, we're gonna do lesson 13-3 in your workbook. We are skipping lesson 13-2 and we're gonna come back to it later. So you should be on page 685. Again, 13-3, not 13-2. Okay, Maria and Evan are both jogging a mile. Maria has jogged 7 eighths of a mile and Evan has jogged 3 eighths of a mile. Who has jogged a shorter distance? Okay, so we're gonna divide this into eighths. So you divide it into half, then you divide this side into half, and divide this side into half, and then you divide each section. That's four sections, so we're gonna divide each section in half, which will double our sections and give us eight. Okay, so Maria has gone seven eighths, so shade in seven eighths, and Evan has gone three eighths, so shade in three eighths. So pause it and then come back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Evan has gone three eighths of a mile. So who has gone further? Clearly Maria has. So let's take a look here. We have seven eighths compared to three eighths. Okay, when our denominator is the same, our life is so easy, okay? So easy. When our denominator is the same, our life is so easy. This is like when you're doing subtraction and you have more on the top, no need to stop. You're like, oh, nine minus eight, yes. Okay, I don't need to regroup. All right, oh, five minus three, more on the top, no need to stop, yes. Okay, oh, look at that, woohoo! Like easy peasy lemon squeezy. When your denominators are the same, you are in easy peasy lemon squeezy land, okay? So that means, because think about it, you've divided your pizza into the same number of pieces. So every piece is the exact same size. So clearly if you have seven of the pieces, you have more than if you have three of the pieces, okay? So, would you change your answer if Evan had jogged five eighths of a mile? Okay, well, let's look at it. Five eighths compared to seven eighths. Maria still has gone further, right? Because it's seven compared to five. Again, easy peasy lemon squeezy because our denominators are the same, okay? Seven is always going to be bigger than the five, assuming your denominators are the same, okay? So this lesson is fabulous because in this lesson, everybody's denominators are the same. So we like that. All right, two banners with positive messages are the same size. So we have go for it and best of luck. Okay, there are two banners. You can see that they are lined up and they have that. So one banner is four, six yellow and one banner is two, six yellow, okay? And it says, remember, comparisons are valid, only true if they refer to the same size whole. They are both broken up into six equal pieces. If we have four six compared to two six, first thing we check, are our denominators the same? If they are, woo, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, we are golden. Four is more than two, so four six is going to be greater than two six. If you look at it here, here's one whole. Here you have four six, here you have two six. Clearly four six is more than two six, okay? Write a number for each numerator to meet, make each comparison true. See, now they're already giving you this is less than, so this number needs to be smaller than this number. The big number, remember, this has like teeth, and it's going to eat the big number. So you could put like seven over here and three over here. It doesn't matter as long as this number is bigger. Now go ahead and pause it and do that one. Okay, so this might be six and one. It doesn't matter as long as this one is bigger than that one because this is the, the big side. Uh, it always points to the small number and gets ready to eat the big number. Okay, explain how you can use fraction strips to show whether five six or three six of the same whole is greater. Okay, well, we want three six compared to five six. So here are six, okay, one, two, three, there's three, six, and there's five, six. So clearly five, six is more than just three of them, right? So how could we explain that would be, uh, 
is greater than 3 6 because there are more of them. There are more 1 6 fraction pieces. Okay, each one of these is a six. You may need to pause this if you need to write that. Pause it so you can write that down. But each one of these six, these are one, six, one, six, one, six, one, six, one, six. Obviously, five of them is going to be more than just three of them. All right, which fraction is greater? Three fourths or two fourths? Draw one fourth strips to complete the diagram and answer the question. So, okay, this remember that this whole thing is gonna be four fourths, right? So what I would do is go like that. This is half, split in half, split in half. So this is gonna be three-fourths. Okay, you're just gonna ignore that one because that one's not part of it, right? Because it's only three of the fourths, okay? Compared to two-fourths. So which one is greater? Clearly three-fourths is greater than two fourths. Again, you have to pay attention that the denominator is the same. When the denominator is the same, we are easy peasy lemon squeezy, cleared for takeoff. You're just comparing the numerators and which one is bigger. Okay, two eighths compared to one eighth. Again, check your denominators are the same. This is like subtraction, subtraction without regrouping. You just go. Two is greater than one. Two eighths is greater than one eighth, okay? Three six compared to five six. So go ahead, pause it and fill that one in. Should be that. Okay. Now I want you to pause it right here. I want you to do the independent on independent practice on the front and the back, and then come back and correct it with me. Okay, three eighths compared to four eighths. Obviously, four is greater than three, so it's going to go there. Three fourths compared to three fourths, they're exactly the same, equal. All right, eighths are the same, so six is greater than three. Six eighths is going to be greater than three eighths. Seven eighths is greater than five eighths. Those are equal. Two thirds is greater than one third. Six six is greater than three six. Okay, so pause it if you need to. I'm gonna to flip to the back, so pause it quick. Okay. On the back. Okay, right, less than, greater than, or equal to. The green strip show, this is one six and this is two six. So obviously the two six is bigger, okay. Do the yellow strips show that two fourths is greater than three fourths? Well, clearly, I don't even need to look at the picture. Two is two fourths is not greater than three fourths. So this shows that three fourths is greater than two fourths. No, three fourths is greater than two fourths. Okay. Okay, and we know that because the three fourths shading is longer. Izzy and Henry have two different pizzas. Izzy ate three eighths of her pizza, and Henry ate three-eighths of his pizza. Izzy ate more pizza than Henry. How is that possible? Well, if Izzy, if they each ate three-eighths of their pizza, um, Izzy clearly had like a personal pizza and Henry had a large pizza, okay? So when you're looking at that, you do have to be careful that the eights, while three eights is equivalent to three eights, the sizes or the holes need to be the same. You know, you can't, if you're gonna do, you know, one like this and one like that, then the eights are not going to be the same size because the holes, W-H-O-L-E, the hole isn't the same. Okay, that's a tricky one. So this is that they're, their size of their pizza was not the same, okay? They did have two different pizzas and clearly they were different sizes. All right, two fractions are equal. They have the same denominator. Must What must be true of the numerators? Okay, well, let's just make up a denominator. If they're equal, what was the, nu the numerators must be the same, okay? So you would write that the numerators are the same. 
Mr. Domini had $814 on Wednesday. Wednesday is $814. On Thursday, he subtracted, that's what withdrew means subtracted, $250. And then on Friday, he withdrew another $185. Okay, so let's subtract what he has there. Okay, so he has $564 left and he subtracted an additional $185. So he should have $379 left in the bank. All right, Tom's parents let him choose whether to play his board game for seven-eighths of an hour or eight-eighths of an hour. Explain which amount of time you think he should choose. Well, eight-eighths of an hour is longer. So let's hope he was smart and chose eight-eighths because it's longer than seven eights. The picture below shows tile designs. Which picture shows less than four eights? Okay, less than four eights. Well, let's write what fraction we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our denominator is eight, and we have four eights shaded. Is four eights less than four eights? No, it is not. Okay, this one has, oh, they all have, all have a denominator of eight. You can see because the lines are equally lined up, right? So this has one, two, three, four, five. This has five eighths shaded. That is not less than four eighths. This one has three eighths. That's definitely one of them. Let's just check this one. Three, four, five, six. This one has six eighths shaded. So it's just, just that one it has less than four eighths. All right, these fractions refer to the same whole. That means their pizza sizes are exactly the same. Which of them is not correct? Okay, five, six would be greater than, than three because five is greater than three. Two is less than three. Three is greater than one, and two is not less than one. So two-thirds is not smaller than one-third. Okay, great job.